We have uh, Dennis Keel, Sean Connery impersonator, with us this afternoon. Welcome, Dennis. Thank you. Nice to be here. Dennis, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what it, is it like to be an impersonator and what drives you to do this? Well, it's absolutely a joy. Uh, all my life, I resemble someone and uh, I finally jumped through that window of opportunity, so to speak, and became a professional lookalike to Sean Connery. And uh, I get hired for corporate events, James Bond theme parties, trade shows, jewelry shows. It runs the gamut, anything elegant and Bond-like. And where are most of these events taking place? Anywhere in the world. I travel anywhere in the world, just like James Bond would travel on assignment. And I wonder if you could uh, give us an example. I noticed uh, recently uh, an event on your website that took place in San Francisco with Google. Yes, actually, that was one of my most enjoyable events. They hired me for three events, actually, in the month of December. I did. Their corporation is so large, they had three different nights of James Bond for three different sections of their company. And it was held at City View one night. And uh, they had cigar bar, they had martini bars, they had food, dancers, Bond girls. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, it was nice to meet the people of Google. That's very interesting. However, I did notice you went from the left coast to the right coast, New York City, and you actually appeared in the St. Paddy's Day Parade in New York. Yes, I, uh, I was invited to march with the Families of the Fallen as uh, Sean Connery in my kilt up Fifth Avenue. And that was probably to date my greatest honor. I walk with a child of seven whose father passed away after he had worked in the Towers of Cancer. It was an absolutely joy to, to see all the faces of the people and to, to meet all the different bands and pipers from around the world. And uh, these events, uh, do you get up close and personal with the people, or is it usually a stage presentation? How does that work? I embrace my clients, uh, as Sean Connery may or may not. I talk to everyone. I try to stay in character, and uh, I shake hands with everyone, pose for pictures. I've never refused anyone photograph. I'm not big on signing autographs, of course, because I'm not him. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic to do what I do. It's, uh, you meet people who, as I said before, they refuse to believe you're not him. When I was in New York, of course, I was very stolic. It was a very somber event. And after the parade, I was there in my kilt. And as the bands walked by, the pipers were saluting me and hollering, Mr. Connery, Sean, how are you? And uh, I just smiled and just enjoyed it all. Great city, great people, and uh, perhaps I'll go back next year. What would you say is the highlight of your career so far? And actually, how many years have you been doing this? Well, I've often asked that question. And to truthfully tell you, the answer would be, I've been looking like Sean Connery since I was 42 years of age. Of course, I had a real job for 30 years for the corporation. But I used to mess around throw out the voice and uh, got serious about 10 years ago when I retired after a 30 year career and became a professional lookalike. And uh, I've been all over the world. It's fantastic. And I wonder if you could characterize the highlight of your career so far. Well, I'd have to say each and every time I go out, it's an honor to portray an icon. If you're asking me which is the best event, that would be like asking someone with four girls as daughters, which one is your favorite? I have the same energy, the same love for my events each and every time I go out the door as Bond. Uh, there are ones that are exceptional. One time perhaps I was on a yacht once again in New York where it was rented for a week by this extreme eccentric billionaire and uh, they all thought I was Sean Connery. I had a security team. 007 flags flying off the mask. Why wouldn't you think not? Because of the hype 
And uh, once people get into that celebrity mode, it's hard to change their minds. I, I told people, I'm not him. They don't want to hear that. They want to actually believe that they're meeting the man. And then, of course, you know, once they realize that you're not the guy, the comments are not so nice. But my intentions are always about perception, not deception. I professional look-alike. That's what I do. Pretend to be him. If they ask me, of course, are you Sean Connery? I usually say, no, dear. I'm Roger Moore. But Sean's a dear friend. I'll give me every gods. I always try to use humor. Uh, it seems to work. Well, that's very interesting. Um, I'd like to thank you very much for being with us today. And I hope you will join us again in the not too distant future. My pleasure. And do you have my check ready? I do. <laughs>